Hi everypony, Wings T Spears here and I'm back with the final reading for this month. I'm going to be doing some moving around in the middle of next month, so my uploads might be delayed a little bit, but I'll still try and get four out for the month, but... Anyway, this story is probably going to be one of the strangest and the shortest and the most offensive that I've ever done. I've had to censor the title specifically for YouTube so it doesn't get demonetized. But yes, this story is called You Are All Cunts. And it's Fluttershy kind of tactfully losing her shit and telling every single one of her friends exactly what she thinks of them in the most unfluttershy way possible. So, hijinks and giggles are guaranteed. So, without further ado, let's get to it. You're All Cunts by Epigenetic Um, what? You're all cunts, Fluttershy repeated, looking Twilight dead in the eyes. The group sat around the map table, having rushed over for an emergency meeting called for by Fluttershy. A pregnant silence filled the room and gazes shifted back and forth, with only Fluttershy keeping eye contact on Twilight alone. Is she serious? Rainbow Dash skeptically asked the group, one eyebrow cocked. Slowly, Fluttershy turns to look at her. I'm completely serious, Rainbow Dash. In fact, you are the second cuntiest cunt of the group. Rarity is at the top. Then it is you, Twilight, Applejack, and Pinky, respectively. I'm sorry, dear, but how am I the cuntiest cunt of the group, as you so delicately put it? Rarity shifted in her seat and shot Fluttershy a look that only a mare with a lemon up their ass could. Oh, come on, Rarity, the Pegasus deadpanned. You're supposed to be the element of generosity, but you boss Spike around and manipulate him by acting like you were interested. Using some pony's feelings to get what you want makes you the biggest cunt there is. Add a lime and some salt along the rim, and you have the look on Rarity's face. Turning back to Rainbow Dash, Fluttershy continued. Dash, you're a cunt for thinking that you're so cool all the time. Are you a filly? Are we in high school? She waited a moment for someone to answer and had no takers. No one cares how cool you are, Dash. Really, we don't give a shit. We're mares, not fillies. So drop it and start acting like an adult. Eyes narrowed and bordering on implosion, Dash crossed her hooves across her chest and rested herself deeply into her chair. Without pause, Fluttershy continued as she turned back to Twilight. Twilight, you're a nice mare, and I am glad that you are the leader of our nation. Twilight beamed at her friend. But you're still a cunt. B what What did I do? With an eye roll, Fluttershy explained. Do you know how many monster attacks happened here before you showed up? Twilight cringed. That's what makes you a cunt. Besides the fact that you are a know-it-all who's got a fetish for bearded wizards. We know what you did with Sunburst before we left. Twilight paled, but Starlight looked around the room, horror evident on her face. Her gaze fell on Twilight, tears welling up in her eyes. T Twilight? What's she talking about? She asked, her voice shaking. Looking down, Twilight's mouth opened and closed a few times, but words escaped her. And on Starlight's bed, no less, Fluttershy chided. With a wail, Starlight ran from the room and slammed the door behind her. It was just one book! It was only four hundred pages! Twilight exclaimed. It still makes you a cunt. Twilight deflated, knowing Fluttershy was right, her ears splaying back against her head. Applejack, do me next! Pinky interrupted, standing on the table and looking eagerly at Fluttershy. I'm less of a cunt than anyone else. I can't wait to know. Sighing, Fluttershy simply said, Right there. She motioned with a hoof at the grinning mare. You're a cunt because you interrupt ponies and are energetic at inappropriate times. Pinky blinked. That is awesome. I'm going to keep being a cunt and share my cuntiness with the whole world. She shouted. With a bang, her party cannon exploded and showered the room with confetti. Doing a backflip with a final woo-hoo, she gently floated back into her seat, positively beaming with pride. Fluttershy rolled her eyes and turns to Applejack. AJ stared back at her with a level stare, waiting patiently. I'm ready. How is it that I'm a cunt? You... She pointed an accusatory hoof at AJ. You gave me Angel. 
all eyes shifted to AJ, their own grievances forgotten. You did what? yelled the group collectively. AJ at least had the good grace to look down, but her expression remained the same. Hey, yep, found the little guy partially crushed under a pumpkin. Couldn't just leave the poor fella just laying there in the mud and rain. He was at the bottom of a hill and would have drowned from the runoff. Silence gripped the room. Every pony looked at one another, and it was eventually Rainbow Dash who broke the pregnant pause. Uh, so? That rabbit is pure evil! She yelled, throwing her hooves in the air to accentuate her point. Well, not exactly, Rainbow, chimed in Twilight. No one is inherently good or evil. It's all about how you are raised. In fact, there's quite a bit of literature on the topic, even dating back to the changing finch. There is one book in particular that goes into excruciating detail about the concepts and challenges of We get it! You like books! Shouted Pinky, cutting Twilight off mid-sentence. Thanks, cunt. Fluttershy muttered under her breath. Huh? I said you were a cunt. Yay, I win the nickname cunt! Fluttershy simply rolled her eyes. Anyway, you're all cunts. It wasn't easy for me to say all these things. But I hope you can all learn to stop being cunts and just be bitches instead. It was Rainbow's turn to roll her eyes. Whatever, Cuntershy. She jabbed, taking flight and zooming out of the nearest open window. The rest of the group stood up one by one with looks of what the fuck just happened as they slowly sauntered out. Spike, Fluttershy called sweetly. Being the last in line, he paused at the doorway and turned to look at her. Once the sound of hooffalls faded to a quiet echo, she spoke again, smiling. I hope you know. She got up from her seat and walked towards him. She leaned down to his ear, whispering, You're a cunt too. When she pulled back, Spike was simply smirking at her. You know, he said, you weren't being entirely truthful back there. As your friend, I know you better than that. The biggest cunt is you. I mean, come on, look at what you just did. He stuck his tongue out a little. She giggled softly, pulling him into another hug. You're right. I am, aren't I? Well, every pony, I hope you all enjoyed that story. I'll be back next month with the same lineup, and the next Clopfic I do will be a Patreon Clopfic, and I'm looking forward to it so much because the author is one of my favourites of all time, and to get the chance to read one of their Clopfics is a great honour.